Hello everyone and welcome back to the world of Risk. I'm Kilted, I'm a competitive player in Risk Online and today we're back again with Dr. Green Thumb from Canada. We're going to be playing Classic Fixed with Blizzards. Give me the craziest Blizzards I've ever seen, please. I want a very unique and interesting game. Let's see it. Wow! We have a Kamchatka Blizzard, a Madagascar Blizzard, and a Western United States Blizzard. Okay, so one Blizzard is good. North America is going to be a two-point guard. Orange has nine troops in North America and gets six troops on the first turn. Orange is named Jennifer Lopez from France. Okay. Um... I don't think she's from France. Purple's already going in. I'm red. No, he's got nine troops in here and he gets five on turn one. No, what are you doing? You're crazy. Don't do it. You, you I promise you're going to regret all of the, the thoughts that are going through your mind. Hugh, what? Purple had a god spawn for South America and he's like, you know what? No. Australia's where it's at. Come on. Oh, I've got nothing good. Maybe I go... Go for Europe? What do I do? I kind of want to keep the uh, white four in here so he's fighting. Maybe I get out of his way so he can go down. I want to make a play for Europe. So how do I do that? Four over. Bring that up. I'm going to try to get his four to come over and go in this way. I'm hoping white takes the bait and goes for South America. So I move over. He may go in to Europe with this four and get out of purple's way. But he may do the opposite. I start with a dude. Why Why do I do this? Why do I do this? So I tried to sign... Okay. Um, he's going to go for North America instead. Okay. He sees the two-point guard North America. He's going all in for that. This is one of those mistakes you make as a newer player, like purple going in for Australia. Sure, you might have had a decent spawn for Australia, like a decent one. But red has a better spawn for Australia and gets five troops on the first turn. That's going to put 14 troops in here against your eight. Do you really want to be fighting that uphill battle? He's going to kill you. Not the best, right? White's Looks like white's coordinating to go into North America. He's going to be fighting Orange. Guess how many troops Orange gets on the first turn? Six, because he's in the last position. Yeah, Red's going to just... Yeah, hits the one, and then brings the four in. Does he blitz eight on seven because he's nuts? No, he doesn't. Yeah, see this? Now Purple can make a ten, and you're ten on eleven. Or you hit here, now you're a nine, and then he's got a fourteen on nine. Like, you do not want to be fighting this battle. Purple's making big mistakes right here. And he owns the zombie face. Elvis Cricket's thirty. With the zombie face, he should know better if you own the zombie, but definitely been around the block. That's a pay for uh, a pay for avatar, not a free one. Okay, orange is now making. Okay, so now I get my green four over here, and I'm green. Yeah, I'm green. I'm Doctor Green Thumb. Doy. I bring my four over here and bring this two out. I'm gonna let white go in and fight orange. Orange got six. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Back, back, back up. Orange got six troops, and he's going for Africa and not North America. Oh, I kind of want to bring this four out. Like, if I can come through the orange two into here, white gives me one turn, and then I can get out of his way? Or do I just abandon the four in there and let them fight and see what happens? <laughs> orange is also looking to potentially hit this four. Why aren't you going for North America? I am so lost on what's happening here. Okay, I'm, I'm just... I'm going to do a two... I don't want to do two attacks, but I think I should. Just in case... Like, Orange is already doing stuff that I'm like, what? And White also had a cleaner Europe, but he wants to go battle for North America. So I'm getting out of both of their wary, 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 but Out of both of their ways. We've got Dude Artillery. We've got the Ar Ukraine card. So if... I can take Ukraine next turn, maybe bring my three over to Ukraine and bring my five into it. And I get a cavalry, I would have a big trade on three with a plus two on Ukraine, which would be so good for he's gonna bury all of his troops in the in Alaska to say, get out of my bonus, this is mine. Oh, he's even going here, blocking the four. 
I'm gonna ally with Jennifer Lopez. She's so hot. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> All right. Uh, this, okay, Purple decided, okay, I wasn't watching because I'm so focused on this side of the board. Purple did indeed get out of Red's way. Smart. But Blue's also now lining up Australia. The fight for Australia is such a real thing. Kamchatka Blizzard maybe is making it a bit, no, let me get my four through you, come on! The fight for Australia might be more so intense because of the Kamchatka Blizzard. If you take Australia... You can theoretically take Asia too and hold it by three point guard or two if you have Ukraine Middle East. Anybody that owns that part of the map just wins. He got his two out of Ukraine. Okay, now we need the cavalry. That's all we need. He's gonna finish Africa now. He didn't accept my life. Get out, Jennifer! Jennifer! No. Okay, well, as long as you roll everything. Just keep rolling. That was, all of that is a waste. That is such a waste. Oh, and then you bring your two out? That doesn't hurt me at all. That did nothing to me. So, and then she's going to bring the two through. If she doesn't, maybe I'll even attack here. Yeah, maybe I'll even attack here to trap the two. So it's more that they got to get through. Oh, okay. Purple is going to back off completely. He's realizing South America is free for him. Orange didn't take Africa, which I'm okay with that. Presumably don't really want to fight him. Orange has 11 territories. Gonna roll this four on one. And I'm gonna stack here with a nine and get a cavalry right now. Oh, the cards are doing the things. Oh my god, big trade on three with a plus two gives me 12 troops, jumps me, plus my three, jumps me to 39 troops, and I take Europe while he takes Africa, and we thumbs up, heart, love, you know, slurp each other, all the good stuff. Oh my. Oh no. The only downside is we have a David from Spain that's sitting here with a four stack that might not like this. David from Spain. I'm going to extend you an alliance request. Yes, run that back. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Orange, I wish you would ally me. Oh, JLo, come on. Our opponents, by the way, Elvis Crickets from Antarctica with the zombie mask. We've got, I'm Dr. Green Thumb from Canada. Rep in the green color. We've got Edie Loy from Switzerland. Rocking the medic flag. We've got the old blue player, Jason, also from Canada. Cool. Sitting here with the one stack Asia position. We'll see how that works after his four gets knocked out. Four gets knocked out and he gets a fourth card. He's looking juicy. We've got David from Spain. The Spaniard hopefully doesn't destroy my Europe when I take it in a second. We've also got JLo from France. I don't think she's from French, from France, but the hell do I know, honestly? I, all I know is... In the 90s, when I was growing up, she was hot, and she's been hot forever. So, all right. We're going to try to tap that by the end of the game. This I don't like. This I don't like at all. Oh, I can actually come out with my four. Offer white an alliance. Offer purple an alliance. Offer blue an alliance. We're going to trade. Big trade. Gonna go relatively quickly. Want to be just on the three. Quickly. Nice. Fifteen and five and a five. I don't trust orange yet. <clears throat> I don't generally like guarding my borders like this. I would prefer to have a big stack in Ukraine and maybe a small one in Southern Europe. Okay, smacks the blue four. White, yep. Thumbs up. Can White and I have a good relationship? We're going to find out right now. I give him a thumbs up. We're at it. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. This is good. This is good. This is good. Send a thumbs up and a heart. Please don't bring the eight back. 
Yes, we have a perfect relationship with White. Yes, this is good. If I can trust White, me and White are going to do well together. And then if he's full stacking down here, I don't have to worry about him. They might knock him out over here, which might force him to try to take cards through me. Yeah, Blue's looking to do some stuff. Takes a card and chills. He's on 19 and 4. Purple has a trade. He could theoretically kill him right now. So could David with a trade on 3. Doesn't have it. Looks like he's not going to break me. Oh, we hold Europe. We hold Europe. Oh, unless Orange is going to... Is Jennifer Lopez nice or is she not nice? Looks like a Middle East card. I did try to ally with her. Didn't work. Okay, this is fine. This I'm good with. I attack down with my four. I'm going to bring a couple troops off this five into my 15. I'm going to show a little bit more. I, I want to drop these to twos or maybe like a two and a four or something. I want these to be a little... Maybe a, I'll leave this as a five, but I'll drop this to a two. I want it to just... A two is just enough to dissuade Orange from hitting it, I think. I could kill Blue right now. I don't think it's worth it. And that, if Orange sees that, is good faith. A big trade on three means so much in these games. It can dictate your position completely. Say I don't have a big trade on three. I don't take Europe. White trades anyways and takes Europe. Or, or North America. Orange takes Africa anyways. So all of a sudden, white is behind me getting five extra troops a turn for two more turns before I even get my continent. And orange is two more turns holding this before I get my continent as well. I don't like the nine behind me. I'd rather it was uh, pointed a different direction. He's knocking purple out of here to try to force and white. He's going to knock purple and white out of here to try to force them to break each other and me. But now he's on 16 troops and two cards. E Red might kill you. I love his play for the, the single stack Asia player to try to force. Now he's forcing friction between me and white and white and purple, right? And purple and orange. There's friction all on the other side of the board now due to, due to that move. But he is now incredibly weak that like he is 14 troops for two cards. I can run through there and just empty my load on him. That sounds really wrong. It, I just, I can, I can eliminate him at any time. I'm not going to now. Make this a nine also. And I'm going to maybe leave this as a two. Show good faith to orange. Bring this up to my 27. I have triple artillery. I have another trade on three. The second best trade. Like, why not use it if you got... I'm at 51 troops. White. Oh, white is so smart. Okay, white is a smart player. We recognize right now that Edie from Switzerland knows what they're doing. Yeah, let, let blue get two more cards. Why not? Seems good to me. Maybe I'll attack down here and then semi-guard Japan with my four stack or my three stack and then line up to kill him next turn. Like I could kill blue whenever I want. Red may go for it now. Theoretically, if orange or red went for it and failed and it was left to me, it'd be good. Purple couldn't do anything about it. I tried to ally you, David. Oh. I thought he was going to do the Spain flag things. You know, Spanish player things? Pow, 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 slap or doodle. Attack blue. I will. I'm going to kill blue. Actually, maybe I just go up one so he's still a straight shot. What is orange doing? That was a lot on North Africa. I. So white wants me to kill blue. I will kill blue. I want him to have a fourth card. I mean... Yeah, I definitely want to have a fourth card. Also, I wouldn't be opposed if somebody else takes him, right?
Orange is now choking up the middle section. I like this. And now red doesn't have access out with his stacks, so I will hold. Make that a two and a two now. Four artillery. <laughs> Gonna give him a thumbs up. Attack blue. And a heart. I'm gonna kill blue now. Once he gets a fourth card. <laughs> he can at any point break me or purple. But I uh, don't recommend it. And I, I don't mind him having a bunch of nines all over the place. This is a bunch of inactive troops that are not threatening anybody. So if the board gets to a point where I can kind of clobber everybody and then maybe go into a 1v1 with him. Oh, he had a trade on three. Blue player is so lucky to have a trade on three there. So incredible. Maybe maybe he had a wild that whole time, and that's why he made that aggressive play. Because, you know, killing 16 troops for one card, not really worth it. 19 for two cards, or whatever he was at. Something like that. Wasn't entirely worth it. What do I do? kind of want red open to killing blue. I mean, David might be the craziest person, right? wonder if white gets mad at me at some point for not killing blue. <laughs> blue is so lucky, man. What do I have? Uh, none of these areas. I don't need to trade. I'm at 64 troops. I'm very scary right now. I don't want to take a... Mm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep taking one troop off of blue every turn. I didn't open red. Maybe I should have. What's up, phone? Okay. Um, It's okay to sit for a little bit here, build a big advantage. Like, I have been pressing a lot in the last few months about playing more aggressive and classic fixed, <clears throat> pushing your advantage... Not letting the game stalemate, trying to team and end the game, trying not to sit back. Because obviously sitting back forever, if you sit back and do nothing for three hours and everybody fights because you've never bothered anybody and you're just a fly on the wall, they all kill each other, you win for free. And sure, that's a strategy that can get you rank points. Um, as long as you don't piss anybody off and they suicide you, you just sit back for hours and it's the most boring thing ever. And ultimately when you play Risk, like, if that's what you want to do, and that's what you want to do, good good for you. Go for it. Can't fault you for that. But I guess, ultimately, it depends how you want to enjoy the game. So, do you care? He's... Yeah, okay. I'm like, if you're trying to make it so I can't take cards with my three, I'm really not going to like... You're not going to like when I hit your five stack. <laughs> so, ultimately, how do you best want to enjoy the game? Do you want to play as hard as you can to get the highest rank as you can on the settings you enjoy, no matter what? Or do you want to play for fun? Part of the downside is if you're playing for fun and you have a crappy start to the game, you just quit, go next. Risk has, right now, a problem with people quitting the games nonstop. Like, I, I tried to record a game a minute ago, and we were 15 minutes into the game. It was an incredibly interesting start to the game. And then three people bought it out all at once. Like, for no reason, they had good positions. It was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I'm like, I was so frustrated to watch that. And be like, well, I wanted to play the game. Um, what? Not likely to get any of these, so it doesn't really matter. At that point, it's just, it's very frustrating when everybody quits the game. But I guess in their mind, they want to quit the game, go to the next game, and try to have a great spawn, so it's a fun one. But I think it would be nice if people grew a little bit of, grew, learned, adapted, got some perseverance. Some of the best games I've ever played, I got absolutely clobbered at the start of the game, and I fought tooth and nail to claw a win, or to retaliate and kill the person that put me in a bad spot, right? Like, those are the most, uh, what is it, the most fulfilling, the most fun games and experiences I've had in this game. So I highly recommend if you do have tough games or bad starts, stick it out and fight, right? It can be so much fun to come back into a game. And then at the same time, if you're going to play a game and get to a decent position after 40 minutes, try to progress the game. Try to look for neat ways 
or or plays with the alliance chat to try to like trick people into fighting or to try to incite a fight like blue almost could have incited fight if if purple and white weren't card skipping this side of the board would have blown up with his early move right it also would have killed him if he didn't have a trade on three i would have killed him with four cards but it, it, it's a player looking to make a play okay so now orange is deciding to ram through my nine and my two and white jennifer lopez from france is going nuts okay so my 59 is now blocked from there hmm interesting so okay cool prime example someone's trying to make the game go let's progress the game i lost how many troops do i lose for that i lost a nine stack a one and a two so i lost 12 troops for that she lost seven on me and then seven on white so she lost 14 i lost 12 and white lost nine. i can retake my bonus and then I can fortify my 59 back down. I think that's the play. Don't have a trade. So for now, I try to retake the bonus. I can get dice that work. Okay, it worked. I'm going to put this 59 here. Pointed at the old Jennifer Lopez. No, dude. Now would be the time to have a trade. Okay. Red. Oh, David won't ally me. Jennifer Lopez won't ally me. Jason won't ally me. Edie will. And uh, Elvis will. Attack orange. Maybe Elvis will work with me on orange, right? Because he needs to get out and get cards or he's going to fall behind. Unless he just lets us fight forever. Blue's going to break me now? If he does, he's dead. Four cards. No. What is our situation here? Red's going to chill and keep this card block on orange. Okay, j -Lo, are you going to hit me again? Because I'm pointing a 59 at you. So, another prime example. So, Red is also trying to progress the game. So, I have a great deal of respect for how Blue's playing and how Red's playing, right? Blue, I, I think that what, what caught... Yeah, now you're breaking purple instead. Because, oh, and you're, what? Okay, this is an incredible game. People are ready, ready. People are ready to fight. I love this so much. So red comes out, traps. This is a, this is a play you can make as the Australian player. You put a giant stack in Middle East, which puts pressure on the Africa player to want cards in South America or Europe. And now look at his position. He's broken me and white, and then he broke purple and hit another stack of white. And now purple's going to kill white? No. He's just knocking orange out of this position as well. Leaves a 29. So he's blocking white from taking... He's blocking white from taking the bonus. So white's more incentivized to break Europe. Dude, these plays... I love this game. What is this game? This is a good game. What do I even do now? I mean, I don't want to get broken by white. So what I'm going to do, make this a 20 and a 47. Cavalry trade with a plus two on Great Britain. Okay. Oh my God. These guys are ready to fight. I love this. You're still here, right? Okay. Fortify down. Bring your 9 to your 12. One of your 9s to your 12. 10 to the 12? Okay. I like that. Okay, so he... I think White wants me to trade cards with him. So if he can't... He's threatening Purple to back off. If Purple backs off, he'll take it and chill. If Purple doesn't back off, he probably wants me to trade cards in Greenland with him. I think Blue breaks me, honestly, the way he's playing. Okay. Yeah, Blue breaks me. Okay. I understand that. Dude, I love this game. I don't care if I lose. I love this game. Everybody is ready to fight. This is exactly the kind of classic risk I want to play. This is exactly what I want to play. Okay, I leave that three. I pop the Greenland and I come back to this stack. Stack. 
What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do it. Red's pushing you around. Get him, J-Lo. Whatever. I mean, I saw that coming. I mean, I was already broken, so Orange taking that is not a deal. He's not... Th that's the smart card take from Orange. The smartest way to take that card, though, once I'm already broken, is to accept my alliance and then and then signal, I'm sorry, I need to hit your territory. Purple is just going to feed me white? Or he's slow rolling it. Does he blitz it? If he blitzes that, gets a good roll and hits the nine, he might, like, fail kill him and give me cards for free. Or he's just going to slow roll forever because he wants cards without coming through Africa. He's going to blitz it. He's getting god dice on these rolls. He's getting such good rolls. Blitz it. No. He just slow rolls him down to 33. And then brings a bigger step. He's lining up to kill white. Hmm. But then you're abandoning. Yeah, he doesn't want to abandon this completely and leave it all once because orange might come in. <clears throat> what do I have? Great Britain plus whatever. Gonna give white a card. 73 stack. Triple artillery. What do you think, Blue? What do you think about your uh, predicament now? White might actually try to run out through Europe to get away from purple and let purple take North America, which would make purple have a big target on his head. It looks like that might happen. White might actually come into Europe to escape purple. Purple greeds to take North America. Then he owns that whole half the board, two point guard, Greenland and Brazil. And then he's the threat that Orange probably goes after, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart. That like that's ballsy. Blue is. Are you gonna hit orange for targeting you? No. Are you gonna kill blue? No. He's gonna take a card, and he's gonna still do the same thing to orange. And I can't signal you to hit purple instead of me. You're gonna hit my three stack instead of opening purple, aren't you? You got a dude trade. Dude, I am... I, okay, I love how white's playing. I love how red's playing. I love how blue is playing. I, I don't even hate how orange is playing. I don't hate how purple's playing. Like, this this is a game. I, I, No, I kind of want him to hit the three, honestly. I have to take a card no matter what, so I might as well take the one that gives me the continent. Bring this three to my 77. I point it blue. Do you have a trade on three? Red wants to ally me now, okay. David from Spain. I don't think white breaks me. I think orange maybe breaks me. Yeah, White has shown nothing but good neighbor to me. As soon as I retake the bonus, he's first after me, and he doesn't want to be the one to break me. I'm the only friend in the world he has. Give him a thumbs up. Like, I even gave him a card. I'm surprised he doesn't have a trade on four. I think Purple might kill him now, though. All right, let's say Purple trades on four with his five troops makes this a 49. I, White's dead. Blue has a trade on three again! You are the luckiest man on the planet! Doesn't hit my three stack either. Doesn't want to incite me any further. If he brings a 44 here, he's technically card or, or uh, guarding Red's kill. Not that 91 troops for three cards is a kill that needs to be guarded. Are you going to break orange now? Are you going to kill orange? Dude, it's Jennifer Lopez. Okay, he, he pops Egypt. No. You blitz it. If you're trying to kill, you blitz it. You're just going to... What are these slow rolls, man? I am so excited for this game. I have no idea who's going to win, and I don't care. I just want to make it to the end of this game. So a few slow rolls back to Middle East. Dude, J-Lo, you're going to take this back and fortify both stacks together? I, I feel like she's going to put both stacks together and ram it into him next turn. I was going to kill Blue on four cards. 
he'd be like 48, right? And I'm on four cards. He's on 48. So I lose like 40-ish, a little bit more troops to kill him and get a double trade. So I probably go down 20 troops by the end of my turn. But I'm going to start my turn with like 100 and something. Or, or like, sorry, like 94. So I start with 94. And then by the time I'm done killing him and double trading, I'm probably around 74. And if you look at the totals for the rest of the board, red's got 91, but I'm ahead of everybody else. So I was ready to kill blue there, but I don't have to. I can chill, hope for a dude. Keep taking a card from blue. JLo didn't double down on him there. Dude, now. Tried to summon it. Fuck! Ah, give it to me. Didn't happen. Whatever. All right, what is happening? White doesn't have a trade on four is so bad for him. He's just chilling with four cards this whole time. Purple's got cards on him in here. Wait, did Purple not take a card last turn? Yeah, because Purple was on four. I said, theoretically, Purple could trade and kill him. Purple didn't want to open the 35 stack up by popping up one. So Purple's even playing a little cautious here to prevent himself from like a white suicide. Red's going in. Oh, is this kill orange time? Or feed orange? If he feeds orange, I get the kill. No, he doesn't. He just takes all the bottom. Bro, you are so fighting with fire right now. The 19 comes around and goes into the 44. Is, is the smart play to threaten him to stop. Right? Ideally, you want both of these stacks together and that's a threat to him. Right now, this is not a threat. But to be fair, they're, they're taking this in stride. Right? They're trying to hang on. I think if this keeps going, though, at some point, red swings all the way and kills him. <clears throat> Purple doesn't take a card, doesn't want to open the white. He's backing off? No, he's going in. I, I think he doesn't think orange is going to break him, if because he can commit to... I think he's committing to the kill now. I think white dies now. Okay, where, what's the most likely uh, territory I own in the future for... Uh, not Venezuela... Ontario or Quebec? Maybe Ontario or Quebec. More so than Brazil or Venezuela, right? Because if he takes white out, I mean, maybe I get a chance to go back on him or... I don't know what happens. <clears throat> we'll see, but... What is this? Hmm. I have 100 set. Okay, we'll just take the blue one out. want blue to poop a little while my big stack's just beside him. Just a little. We got the Ukraine, by the way. So that's another plus two for us. Whether we get a dude or an artillery. Oh, he wants to run. I'm not even going to signal him. He's doing it anyways. Because <clears throat> A, he wants to get a fifth card. And B, he wants to survive purple. As soon as purple moved ten more, he knew he was dying. But all he's effectively done now is break my bonus and made purple attack an extra time or two before he kills him, but he gets an extra card for it. So he gives purple an extra card. And he breaks my bonus. It's unfortunate. Oh. Like I, I as much as I want to kill blue for popping my bonus the one time, I really respect his play and causing this mayhem over here. Like, a lot of what's happening over here is because of Blue's early game and, and the risk he took. Yeah, yeah. at some point, J-Lo suicides our boy David or David kills her. She doesn't know about these Spain players, does she? Uh, cue a joke about uh, that Spanish basketball player she's dating or married to or was dating or married to. Maybe she does know something about the Spanish. I don't know, man. I'm not up to date on the all Hollywood suicide. It's possible. You come blitz the 19 in first, you get more effect. Put your stacks together is the smart... Oh, takes a card and then... Wow, that works. It succeeded. Yeah, yeah. So, David was doing good pressuring, but he also overcommitted the pressure. So, what do I want to do in this position? Red says well played. Yeah, he's killing white right now. Purple's attacking quick, too. Elvis Cricket, Elvis Cricket, Elvis Crickets is going to get a double trade after he kills White. If 
Five cards for 37, you can do it. Red's 27's trap, can't even retaliate properly on orange. Can orange come through here? <laughs> can I kill orange? I don't want to kill orange for two cards. This is a problem. If he doesn't kill white, he's going to be very strong. Oh, oh, he does kill white. He's thought about it. He did the math. He lost 27, gets two trades. What does blue do in this situation, right? I'm curious what blue does in this situation. He's he, he started some wars. He's sitting on 59 troops. He could kill red and orange if he wanted to. If he killed red and orange and then punched purple. Oh, you're sitting in my bonus? Hmm. Jason, ally me, bro. Oh, Blue and I could go one and two right now. What? Did he just hear me through the nether? Attack red. Attack orange. Attack purple. In that order. I'm going to help him with red by hitting a two stack. And I'm pointing this at purple in his face. <clears throat> oh, that was stupid. I should have put it I should have put it in Western Europe because then I still have access to this side of the board and this side. This is only pointed at purple. It was a misplay. I, I, I did it too fast. My fortify was without thinking because purple has this one. I should have went Western. I have threat up and down. Although this is more threatening to back off. He could kill red and orange right now, and then I'll go in on purple. Does he just chill? He's going to just chill. Or he's going to kill orange. He's going to leave red trapped, kill orange, and then punch purple? Faster, faster. Come on, purple. Come on. <coughs> oh my god, you're so slow. He's gonna take he's gonna take Africa and guard it. Uh, okay. I mean it's a play. Orange is now dead. He has Africa and it's guarded. Red's incredibly weak. Tell purple to attack blue. Blue was your enemy early game, right? Red's gonna be able to catch back up because we're all gonna fight. Yeah, he got a ton of troops. 11 to start that turn. And he blocked this from me for an extra turn. You better back the hell off. <laughs> I have a hundred stack right there. And four cards. I could kill him right now. Are you trying to get your stack out into Africa? I'm done. No, get out of my face. Absolutely get out of my face. I don't care. No dude card. I'm, I'm trading the artilleries. Go Ukraine instead of Ontario. But 57 to 59 to 40. Let's work on blue. I want both of these guys open to each other. Okay, I have triple cavalry now. I got a bad roll. I, I lost eight on a three because I didn't slider. What I wanted to do was send a message. So I didn't slider on purpose to kill him fast. Just to bang, bang, bang. Fuck you, blue, purple. Our alliance is over. Blue's going to hit me now. 
Are you killing me? Because red, I opened red. I'm going to take Europe. He's going to break North America, too. He's going to stack in my face, I think. He's not going to hit my stack, but he's going to stack in my face. The trade. Does red trade and go hit him? Obviously, like, yeah. He should be breaking me now. I shouldn't have lost the 8 on the 3. I should have slidered it. I just... You know what I mean? As soon as he does that, I'm like, no. Done. And his 40 is going to be in my face. No, the 10's going to... He's... Oh, my God. That's a good play. He wants to follow me. With the stack. Blue play... Blue was on 16 troops. His, his lucky sets on 3. Three times in a row. Stop me from killing him. Don't trap your stack. If you trap your stack, he kills me. I have no choice. I have to add three here to break us to open this, right? I have no choice. Please attack blue. Oh, if I lose this game, I lose this game. If blue wins it, props to him for, for how he's played, honestly. Whatever. It is what it is. It's got 66 to... Oh, uh, I should have... Nah, that's fine. Under 15 is fine. 66 to 55 to 42 with a trade and a bonus. We're at three-player endgame that is relatively equal. Um, I'm going to offer Jason another alliance. Take North America and chill, man. If Red's not going to fight, take North America and chill. We can get strong kill him first. I think what he wants to do is, Red keep he has an advantage over me in a 1v1 right now. And Red keeps trapping his stack. So if he just pushes the dagger in on me, and Red traps his stack, I have to keep opening Red's stack or else he kills me immediately. Where is he going now? Trap it. Oh, he's going to two-point guard. Please... Please hit blue. I can't get through the seventh. That was a good play. Daddy time? Come on, David. You've done big things before. It's supposed to be daddy time. Come on. I'm going to lose this game. I'm so... Like, the game's over for me. I'm definitely dead. <clears throat> They have an alliance or what? Do I go hide in Japan? Well, he opened me to hitting blue. But like, why do I hit blue? Not now, why do I hit blue? I don't see a reason. Because blue kills me if I hit him. Cool. I'm gonna go hide in the corner. You can't thumbs up me. You didn't help me at all. <laughs> you took Africa and completely left him. You let him take the whole board over, bro. At this point, I'm probably playing for second. We get blue first. Oh... I could have definitely backed off from purple and tried to force somebody else to go into him, but you know what? That's not the game we're playing. I need him to hit blue. I need him to realize, okay, blue's just going to run away with the game. He might even just kill me. No, I think he's going to go hit blue now. Oh, he, does he go up to the 36 or down to the 23? Down to the 23. Or he's just hitting my green ones. Down to the 23. Okay, we have a chance to win this game. Normally, I don't want to be the one that backs off, but I I couldn't kill Blue. I hit Blue, and he finishes me. Now we're in the game again. 
And Blue's 36 is trapped. Can I get a dude? <laughs> yeah, buddy! Give him the heart. Yep, I'm gonna attack Blue. Six, five, four, one. Blue doesn't even have a trade. Red owns a lot. I got a dude. <clears throat> Red owns a lot, but his stack is trapped, and he's going to break break. I think, yeah. I read that right. Blue's going to double break, or try. And then he's going to fortify his 36 out. I did I, I did the, the hit blue thing. I did the hit blue thing without breaking red and without opening a stack. Didn't he hit red at all? Now he's going to run right into blue even further. What do I do here? I have a big trade. Plus two on Mongolia. I don't think blue suicides either. I think blue plays to win the game still. I have to trade now just in case blue tries to kill me. Because if he had a big trade, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight into me. So he gets a 49, gets a 40 on something. I need to show red good faith, but also I, so I, at this point, I don't want to threaten blue any further, but I want to show red good faith at the same time. I want to bring the three to the 45, but then blue might suicide me instead. Oh, he won't ally me. Okay, that's fine. We'll try to put blue out third. Give red a heart. <laughs> Blue doesn't suicide, I don't think. If he does, it's a little scary that he, hit, he might hit my 45. Or he might hit the red 28. Us teaming on him in this position, though. He's going to have five cards. That's saying well played. He's slidering. And devil face. What can you do with your devil face, though? You have a 28 stack that's locked. He's perfect slidering. He's trying to do the best he possibly can. It's really slow. Come on. He's stopping. I could kill him for five cards. Red's going to have way too much for me to do that. He's trying to decide a fight between me and Red now. I get eight. I could nine on seven him. Please don't hit my three. Okay. That's okay. Four on one. Come back in. Right, like, how much did Red just get? I got 9, Red got 10. Perfectly fine. He's at 58. I'm at 67. I'm hoping Blue doesn't suicide me for that. He has 5 cards, so he's going to trade and get stronger. The 2 point North America seems to be the thing. He shouldn't have broke the alliance and pull in. I, he put himself in a good spot, though. No, I I like how everybody's playing this game. I love this. Like, it's a feisty, it's a fiery game. This is exactly what I want to play Classic Fix like. The whole game has been crazy and just aggressive and all in. He breaks both of us. And anything can happen. All three of us are equal in, tw in tro troops. All three of us are equal in troops. He's not going to open my 53 to go backwards. 
going to hit everything it can of mine without opening it backwards. I have a plus two in Ural. You're going to bring the seven out or the 40 in my face? Yeah, seven out is smart. Because he doesn't want me to punch him. Red can't do much to him because his stack's not open on purpose. I need red stack open to actually... But I, he doesn't want to. The problem with his stack trapped... Oh. So frustrating. I don't get my plus two on Euro because he just took it. I'm going to trade because I don't... I, I'm, I'm not screwing around with the old... Uh, I want to open red to blue also. Make it a four and I lose immediately. Pointed at him. Give Red a thumbs up. He has a big trade. His stack is open. He's got his bonus. What happens? Good game. The problem I've been worried about is if Blue suicides me, Red goes first. So would Red kill me before Blue or Blue before me? You, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Red says good game. Does he say good game because it is a good game? Or does he say good game because he's going to kill Blue right now? Yeah. Blue knocks Red out of Africa. Comes, breaks the North America. Blue and I are trading a lot of troops. I wonder if Red's going to help now. I do have the lead. He stops there. Leaves me on 15 territories. If Red does go through these, I'll still have 12 territories. Or 13. I'll still have 13. All on the 42, please. Yes, he's going to do something. He's going to do something. I'm happy about it, but he might hit my 55. He's David from Spain. You never know. <laughs> you absolutely can never know. That's the direction I want you to go. No, that's the direction I don't want you to go. Unless you're trying to kill him. Well, you'd want to hit the 38 first. He said good game. And he's only hitting blue. So right now it looks promising. He's not even going to go into... Okay. If he traps his stack... If he full-on traps his stack, I can maybe kill blue and then and win with one turn hold everything. Two-point guard here. Red won't have a trade. Oh, he goes all the way back. Red won't have a trade. Can I do this? Is that enough? Can I do this? Is it enough? Okay, let's go, Blue. We're gonna try this. If it, if it get a great roll, it's possible. Plus nine's good. Uh, Japan, Great Britain, Ontario, Central America. Central America's not bad. We're like trying to guard a bonus later. 30. He gets what? No trade for him. I get all these bonuses. Do I have a trade on three? No. But I get a 5, a 5, and a 5. I get 15 plus so many territories. I'll get 20-something on top of this. It'll be 30-something. He's going to fortify the 41 out. <clears throat> oh, he doesn't even get a card. This is good. Oh, he killed... What the fuck is that? What the fuck was that? He... Oh. There's no way. What the fuck was that? 
I get 19 instead of 30 something. Or it would have been an extra 5. Or 6. It would have been an extra 6. I'd have a 37. I would have a great roll. 37 on 43 is not terrible. It's 5% now. How fast is he though? Good. Not good. Good. Killed 10 only. Fuck. Fuck, I only killed 10 with that? Come on. 32 to 44, I have a, I have a trade too? I don't have a trade on four, no. No. Slow, slow, slow. Oh, he's got speed. He's got enough speed to just break everything. He should win. Me not having a trade is so bad. But he's not breaking Australia, so I get at least five. Plus a lot of territories. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm gonna get a lot. I get at least six troops if he takes all of this, but he's not gonna take all of it. So I'm gonna get like seven troops. It'll be enough to break him. I'll be able to break him and then have a trade next turn. I can still win this. Especially if he traps his stack somewhere. He's notorious for having a stack in an awkward spot. Like, is he going to point it at Europe? Where I break him from whatever side. I don't open it. Whatever side he puts his stack on, I don't open it to the other side. Okay, good. It's, it's right there. That's perfect. I don't open it to come through. Um, what do I do? Oh, I could try to hold Asia? If he doesn't, he doesn't have a trade. One, two, three, four, five. Bring the three. There's a chance. Bear with me a second. I'm trying to do some magic. Magic is the best. Uh, one, two, three, four. I need to kill all four, right? One, two, three. Four. He's under 12. Doesn't have a trade. There's a chance I hold Asia. There's a good chance I have it, I hold Asia. He put he, This is perfect example of a 1v1 situation. Four on one, and then he's got to do a three on three to break Asia, or the game's over. It's over. And I got an artillery. I have the second biggest trade. I hold Asia and Australia. What a sick game. I just had a game, like, a week, a week, it's gonna be a week by the time this releases, that I named Game of the Year 2023 for, like, the comeback aspect. This game was way more fun. Oh. I, I cannot tell you how happy I am to look over and see it says recording. I've played good games before where I accidentally forgot to start the recorder. Oh my god, this game is sick. Please subscribe to the channel, guys. There's lots of stuff like this. It's not all this good, but it's <laughs> there's some great stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even have to be super precise. I'll make it a six and do this. Oh, dude, that in perfect example of don't quit the goddamn game. Nothing feels better than winning a game like this. Well, I mean, there's some things that feel better than winning a game like this. Um, maybe nothing on the internet. So, but maybe if you're looking at things on the internet, there's. I don't like words. <laughs> <laughs> How do you convey your thoughts properly? Good game. Send him the hearts. 
more than happy that I played a game with you, sir. David from Spain, my new best friend. I think we had a great game. I'm happy we got blue third. Everybody in that game wanted to fight and play a fun, interesting game. Please give me a thousand more games like that. Uh, that, that that's what makes me love Risk. Games like that. <sighs> Purple was an expert. White was an intermediate. Blue and red were beginners. And our boy, Orange. Who the hell was Orange? Jennifer Lopez was a beginner. I... I... <sighs> I don't even have words, bros. Please subscribe to the channel. I release daily risk videos. Daily risk videos every day. Daily risk videos every day. David and I wants to be my friend. Sure, bro. And yeah, um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow for some more, uh, some more risk. See ya.